Hi, very good morning to you. My name is Darren and uh, I'm the English tutor from uh, EnglishTutor.org. And in today's video, uh, we are going to explore a very interesting issue. Uh, let me start by first asking you a question. Who has the responsibility of disciplining the child? Is it A, the school, B, the parent, C, the tutor, or D, all of the above? What would your answer be? Well, my personal response to that question, I would choose answer D. Okay, the reason because, uh, the reason is because I personally believe that there's a shared responsibility among all the different stakeholders, uh, to come together and work together closely you know, to discipline the child. Uh, I think, uh, there's a lot of uh, misalignments in values because, uh, what I've observed the, the you know the reality of, the reality of the work that I do what I've observed is that sometimes parents do try to shift the responsibility uh, in my opinion unfairly right to the schools and the teachers what do I mean by that okay now it is one thing to say it is shared responsibility but ultimately I think we do have to take ownership right of helping to discipline the child right of the child's discipline right. Uh, who has uh, more ownership of that and ultimately think that it comes down to the parents. They have the lion's share of this responsibility is because the time that uh, the child spent with the tutor and the, the school it is relatively short and at the end of the day, they will eventually leave their tutelage, right? And they will eventually leave school after their exams, you know, and they will go to another school and they'll move on in life, right? But family members are there all the time, right? And because they are our own family members, I do think that it is fair to say that they should take on the lion's share of the responsibility to help to discipline the child. Um, what I observe that uh, parents usually do, you know, is that, uh, and I think it's understandable, right? Is that, uh, they have too little time for their children because of work issues and after work they come back, they're just so tired, they just don't want to, you know, have to deal um, with these issues, right? But I've also observed that some parents, okay, they are slightly more disciplined themselves, okay, so they are able to come back and uh, try to spend more time with the kids, monitor with their progress, check through their work. And obviously, those are the kids who see the greatest progress, right? Because uh, they get, uh, they receive more attention, love and care from from the people around them. And that is the ideal situation, right? And I've seen that happening. So it is definitely possible. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, uh, some cases, uh, in some cases, the parents just, you know, j uh, leave the, uh, uh, this discipline issues alone. And, uh, most of the time they just give empty threats. Okay. Whenever, you know, the opportunity arises for the parents to do uh, some work in, in, in the, in the, you know, to help to discipline the child, right? They will just give empty threat. They will just say, Oh, I'm going to cane you later or go home. Then you know, right? But go home never leads to anything, right? So <laughs> the child knows that go home. Oh, nothing happens. So the next time, uh, they are going to misbehave again. Okay. And I do have parents telling me that, Oh, if the, uh, if the child is very naughty during lessons, you know, you have the permission, you have my permission to scold the child and even to cane the child, right? Some parents even give me that permission. And I'm very thankful for that level of support, right? But ultimately, as a tutor, my hands are tied. There's a limit to what I can do to help discipline the child. Ideally, I would prefer not to have to work with all these disciplinary issues and focus on the teaching. I only have like one and a half hours to two hours of time with the student, right? So that uh, teaching time is very precious to me, right? So I would like to spend the time in a more productive way rather than to have to spend the time, you know, trying to talk to the child, uh, punishing the child and work on disciplinary issues. That's a complete waste of time in my opinion, right? Uh, maybe uh, on and off, you know, the child go off track. We I do spend some time, you know, to, to work on their discipline. Um, but that should not happen too often, right? Because it will just simply affect the progress of the child adversely. I do think that um, there's a need for 
parents and students as well, okay, especially the students, to learn to take personal responsibility for their own disciplinary issues, right? Do they have issues uh, being late in school? Okay, Are they being punished for not handing in the homework? All these are related to their discipline. Right, and over time, if we can inculcate in them to the value of taking personal responsibility of their own discipline, then I think you know, they have a very good chance of uh, growing out to become more uh, independent learners right, and uh, to become more responsible adults. That's the ultimate goal. Parents do need to take some form of, of action if the child misbehaves okay, for the very simple fact that uh, we need to send the child a message, otherwise the child will never learn. Okay, the, the the child will continue to misbehave because there are no adverse consequences. So do you agree with me that uh, parents have the lion's share of the responsibility? If you do, uh, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the content and would like to participate in the future discussions like this one, just uh, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel or just uh, head on over to our Facebook page and follow us there. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the content. Thanks for sticking around and I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Bye.